Wolves, jackals and wild dogs are the closest relatives to our furry companions, the domesticated dog. They are part of a large clade of animals named Canidae found in every ecozone on Earth and are split into three main groups. Wolf-like canines, fox-like canines and South American canines. In this guide, we'll take a quick look at each of these tribes and the 15 species of wild dog found therein. Let's dive in. Wolf-like canids are contained within the Canina subtribe. It is part of the larger Canini tribe, which also contains many species of fox, which we'll explore in a later video. Canina contains all species of jackal and most species of wolf and wild dog. They are found across North America, Eurasia and Africa. The grey wolf is the closest relative to the domesticated dog. It is the largest canine on Earth, weighing up to around 65 kilograms, or just north of 140 pounds. Wolves are pack animals who, in contrast to most species of feline, live in nuclear families, those containing both sets of parents. The pack is subject to a strict dominance hierarchy and is led by an alpha male and an alpha female. This highly social behavior is advantageous for several reasons. Groups of animals band together to protect each other and can also pursue prey much more vigorously. Packs of wolves, for example, have been known to track their prey, which includes the giant moose, for up to 60 kilometers, waiting patiently for the moment of exhaustion. There are over 30 recognized subspecies of wolf, including the Arctic wolf who live in Canada and the Himalayan wolf who, unsurprisingly, live in the Himalayan mountain range in Asia. The dingo is a particularly interesting wild dog, if only for its debated taxonomic status. It is thought to be either a subspecies of wolf, Canis lupus dingo, a subspecies of domestic dog, Canis familiaris dingo, or a separate species altogether, Canis dingo. Regardless, this feral canine lives exclusively in Australia and is usually found in a range of colors from a dark reddish brown to a lighter white coat, but can also be entirely black or white. Like wolves, dingoes are territorial and hunt in groups of up to 12. Their diet can include larger mammals such as kangaroos and wallabies, but they mostly prey upon the abundant supply of rabbits found in the Australian outback. The coyote, also pronounced coyote, is one divergence removed from the wolf, and although their appearance is similar, they are much smaller weighing no more than around 20 kilograms or 45 pounds. They are found throughout North America, as far north as Canada and Alaska, and as far south as Panama. Historically, the population and distribution of the coyote have fluctuated greatly depending on the population of wolves and cougars with whom they compete for territory and prey. They inhabit various biomes including grassland and desert, and are also found in mountainous ecosystems. They are well known for being highly vocal, exhibiting a range of vocalizations used for greetings, general contact and for warning their pups of potential threats. The African wolf, also known as the African golden wolf, is another canid subject to much taxonomic debate. It was previously thought to be a type of golden jackal, however, recent analysis has found it to be distinct and more closely related to the coyote and wolf. There are various subspecies of the African wolf, many of whom look very similar to a coyote, including the Egyptian wolf, the Serengeti wolf, and the Senegalese wolf. Unlike other species of wolf, the African wolf is usually found with their nuclear family instead of larger packs. In addition to small mammals, they are known to hunt the fawns of gazelles, working in groups of two or three to isolate and separate the fawn from her mother or herd. The Ethiopian wolf is one of the rarest members of the canid family, with only around two to four hundred remaining in the wild. They live exclusively in six isolated, high-elevation grassland areas of Ethiopia, where there are large populations of rodents, their primary prey. They live mostly above the tree line and, following the activity patterns of rodents, are active mostly during the daytime. They are also known as the simian jackal or simian fox, exhibiting a spectacular reddish-brown and white coat and, like the grey wolf, can be found in packs of up to 20 members. Thankfully, they are currently subject to several conservation programs which aim to reduce disease within the packs and maintain their habitat. The golden jackal is one of three species of jackal, but, unlike its name would suggest, is not closely related to the other two jackal species. It is a member of the Canis genus along with all previously mentioned canids and lives in southeastern Europe, the Middle East and South Asia. 
With such a large range, there are 13 subspecies of golden jackal, including the Persian jackal, the Indo-Chinese jackal, and the European jackal. They are omnivorous, eating a combination of meat and plant matter such as fruit, and exhibit both predatory and scavenger-like behavior, often waiting their turn on prey killed by larger animals such as tigers and grey wolves. They are commonly found in river valleys where they hunt aquatic rodents and birds. Doles are one divergence removed from the members of the Canis genus and are found throughout much of Asia, as far west as India, as far north as China, and as far south as the islands of Indonesia. They are known as the Asian wild dog, the mountain dog, and the red dog, exhibiting a dark reddish-brown coat and a black tail. Like many of the other canine species, doles are highly sociable and can be found in packs of up to 40 members. They inhabit the vast swaths of tropical forest found in Asia, and their range often overlaps with large felines such as tigers and leopards, with whom they compete for prey. The African wild dog boasts the unofficial title of the world's most colorful canine. Their coat is made up of white, tan, and black blotches, and they have large, prominent ears. They are one of the largest canids in Africa, weighing up to 80 pounds or 36 kilograms. Today, the pack size of the African wild dog rarely exceeds 50. However, there were reports in the 19th and 20th centuries of packs consisting of over 100 dogs roaming the savannah. Unlike most other canids, it is female wild dogs who are dispersed from the pack instead of males. These lone females will eventually join a different pack, a behavior that prevents inbreeding. They are found throughout much of sub-Saharan Africa, but are currently listed as endangered, with fewer than 6,000 remaining in the wild. The side-striped jackal is the first of two closely related jackal species, and the last two species of wild dog in the Canini subtribe. They are slightly larger than the black-backed jackal, but are still much smaller than the African wild dog, weighing a maximum of 31 pounds or 14 kilograms. They are found throughout much of sub-Saharan Africa, where they feed on invertebrates, small mammals such as the spring hare, and large amounts of fruit, which can make up around 30% of its diet depending on the season. As the name would suggest, the side-striped jackal has a black and white stripe on the side of its body, making it easily distinguishable from Africa's other jackal species. The black-backed jackal is also easily distinguishable, sporting a black back and tail. There are two known subspecies. The Cape black-backed jackal occupies the southern tip of Africa, extending no further than the coastlines of Nambia and southern Angola. The East African black-backed jackal roams the eastern side of the continent from Tanzania in the south to Ethiopia and Eritrea in the north. Like their side-striped cousins, they feed on many different types of invertebrates including beetles, spiders and scorpions, but are also capable of bringing down larger mammals such as impala. This species only has a few natural predators and will happily roam the savannah alongside other animals such as hyenas, vultures and eagles, who also scavenge kills by larger animals. The South American canines are contained within Cerdocinonia, the sister subtribe to the previously discussed canina. This subtribe contains one species of wolf, two species of dog, and an additional seven species of fox. The maned wolf is the largest canine in South America, weighing up to around 30 kilograms or 66 pounds. They are found mainly in the grasslands and forests of Brazil, but also in northern Argentina, Bolivia, Peru, and Paraguay. They have a very unique appearance with a similar coloration to that of the common fox, but physical characteristics that more closely resemble that of a wolf. Unlike most of the canines we've discussed so far, the maned wolf is a solitary animal found most commonly in mated pairs. They are active mostly during the night when they hunt and traverse their territory and are known to rest in areas of thick bush during the day. The maned wolf is omnivorous and more so than any other canine previously discussed. The wolf apple is a plant found on the Brazilian savanna and is named so for making up more than 50% of the maned wolf's diet. The bush dog, also known as the savanna dog, is a short and stocky canine more closely related to the maned wolf than any other canid. They weigh a mere 7 kilograms or 15 pounds and stand just 30 centimeters at the shoulder. The bush dog has a large range stretching from the southern regions of Brazil to Venezuela's Caribbean coastline and even extending into southern Panama through the Isthmus of Panama. 
They are usually found hunting large rodents such as capybaras and agouti in small packs. They have also been known to take down much larger prey such as tapir which can weigh up to 250 kilograms or 550 pounds. Their conservation status is currently listed as near threatened due to habitat loss. However, these animals have a positive relationship with humans, helping to quell populations of rodents in the areas in which they live. The short-eared dog is similar in appearance to the bush dog and is exceptionally rare. The fox-like canines are a tribe of canids named Vulpini, mostly made up of true foxes. However, there are also two species of raccoon dog included in this group. Despite their name, raccoon dogs are not closely related to raccoons and are only similar in appearance with short white muzzles and black fur around their eyes. Their diet is made up of many different types of small animal, including insects, birds, reptiles and amphibians, which they eat while dodging wolves which can account for around 60% of their deaths. Raccoon dogs are roughly the same size as bush dogs, but have long shaggy fur used to stave off the freezing winter temperatures where they live, which can reach as low as minus 25 degrees centigrade or minus 13 Fahrenheit. The common raccoon dog is found in two main populations. Their native range exists mostly in China, but also extends as far north as Siberia and as far south as Vietnam and Laos. The second population exists in Europe, where they are not native, but instead have been introduced. Also known as Tanuki, the Japanese raccoon dog, which is a separate species, is very similar in appearance to the common raccoon dog, but found on the island nation of Japan. Unlike the common raccoon dog, who are seen as pests and an invasive species in Europe, Tanuki are revered in Asian culture and are seen as cute, mischievous creatures, a perception that's not difficult to agree with. Thank you so much for watching. This video is part of a series of videos called Relatives, exploring the most fascinating families in the animal kingdom. Join me next time as we dive into the almost endless genera and species of snake. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel to stay up to date with the series.